And away they go. And Sutha Fenny looked like she refused to jump. Could be Sutha Fenny still standing in the gates. Chennai Babe Cadiz is right there in the early stages. Ginger Biscuit and Tony performs. Towards the inside, Quintella. Then comes Be My Honey. Off ramp in the blue silks is about six lengths off a good speed. Then Be My Honey's just alongside, taken up for a stride or two. Black Jade and Storm Kitten amongst the back rank. Settling out into stride, Cadiz by two. Jola raised up second, Chennai Babe, Ginger Biscuit. Strategic move to the inside. Be My Honey's pulled right out towards the outside. Went about ten wide, Be My Honey. Top of the lane, Cadiz by a length and a half. Jola comes for home second, strategic move, Quintella. Be My Honey extreme outside and Chennai Babe looks to start up, Ginger Biscuit. Cadiz still the leader at the 200, Jola Quintella. Chennai Babe looks to run on, 150 to go and Cadiz still digs down. Quintella red sleeves and cap, off ramp strategic move. Quintella's coming at Cadiz, close home, Cadiz clung on to the lead. From in second, Quintella and strategic move. Number 12, Cadiz, the daughter of Cahal, just continues to plug away, looking for the post. Quintella is lunging through down the outside, strategic move. But the daughter of Cahal for Mrs. Mary Liley, bred by the Backworth Stud, has lost at home. Quintella second, strategic move, Chennai Babe, Jolo. Then came off ramp, further back, Ginger Biscuit, Black Jade, be My Honey switched around, came about 10 wide. Storm Kitten and Sutha Fenny is coming past the post now. Number 7, Sutha Fenny. She went in first. It took them a while to load her and just wait on that outcome. But she looked like she just stood in the gates. 300 to go. Cadet is still the leader by a length. Quintella now hooks in the red sleeves and cap. Strategic moves making the presence late on. But Cadet just continues to go. The post is looming. Quintella is running on. Strategic move. But Eric Nguani kept up the gallop on Cadet to beat Quintella in strategic move. Back to the studio. Well, trainee, trainer Tony Rivelin has had three runners uh, this evening and they've all ran uh, very well and a nice to see Mrs. Liley's colours to the foyer in race number seven. Her name is Cadet, she's the daughter of Kahal and uh, she now notches up a second career win. Uh, the blinkers were taken off and she had a low weight on her back but that said, uh, I thought it was a great ride by the young kid. He's a very talented rider, Dees. Um, she's been inclined to over race with the blinkers. She went to the farm, had a small rest, um, lost her way a little bit. Um, she's had two runs back. She's a big gross filly, so it's quite hard to get her fit. And I did give her a good place chance tonight because, you know, when you take four kgs off their back, you've taken 10 pounds off. Mm. It's a lot of weight. You've improved her handicapping by 10 pounds in effect, especially these horses that go to the front. One's got to take cognizance that um, front runners with light weights, it makes a difference. It's the same as her dropping eight pounds in the merit rating. So well done to Eric. Good luck to Mary. Had my good luck charm here. Both my daughters, Kim's up from Cape Town and Danielle, they came racing. So I'm delighted for them that they could be a lead and a winner. And, and the other two horses also for Mrs. Liley ran uh, fairly well. Yeah, Fashion Wear was touched off in the last in the dying stride. She was the hare. She did it the hard way. So it was a great second from, from her. She hasn't run for three months. And um, no, I was very happy with Fantasy Arts run. He hasn't run for two months. Um, I think seven furlongs a little short for him. Could be the short head for fourth. He was beaten two lengths. Um, I think next time over a mile or nine furlong, he'll be a runner. A big supporter of your stable is Mrs. Liley, and really nice to see her involved at, at this level in the game where she, she still buys horses uh, abroad, locally, and she's still heavily involved in the game, Tony. Yeah, she loves her horses. That's what Mary lives for. She really loves her horses. She likes horses. She likes racing. And um, thank goodness for Mary. Yeah? Well done for the win. Yeah. Thank you.
Well done, Tony Rivel. And uh, the guy that's getting all the accolades is young Eric Nguane. Tony touching on the weight and the claim and the low weight. Uh, great ride here, Erika. You can talk us through it. Yes, uh, uh, Mr. Rivelin said I must give her a chance if I can, but I saw in the race there was no pace, so I just jumped her out and took it to the front, and she, rela uh, she relaxed with me, and I ran on from there, and she went on and won a nice race. It looked like you made the move at the, at the right time. You, you used your low weight, and uh, they were never going to catch you. Yes, uh, I saw down the straight that I was still traveling on the bits, and then when I asked her, she just flew through, and I just kept her going, and she kept on going all the way, sir. How many winners now, young man? This is my 10th winner, sir. Tenth winner, things going well, and uh, keep up the good work. Thank you, sir. I'd just like to say a big thanks to Mr. Revelin for the uh, ride, and to the owners, a big thanks and, uh, uh, for the ride as well. A big thanks to the Academy and my family for the support. Well done, Eric. Thank you, sir. Let's get Mrs. Liley in. Uh, up, uh, in so let's have a quick word with Mrs. Liley. Uh, she's going to have a chat. She, she had a few runners uh, this evening, and really nice to see uh, our colors to the fore. We speak about a gentleman of the turf, Mrs. Liley, come, let's have a chat. And uh, this is the lady of the turf. She's been uh, in the game for many, many years. And as Tony mentioned, loves the horses. And nice to have a winner uh, this evening. You had three runners. Uh, they all ran fairly well. They did. They ran reasonably. You know, the first one fifth, the next one second. And I said to the jockey, this one is number one, not believing it would run <laughs> so well. Anyway, it was very nice. Well done to Tony and the stable. They try very hard. Mrs. Liley, you know, you've been in the game for, for such a long time and you've seen uh, the, the game change and uh, the way the racing has, has changed, but Gravel this evening is, is a fantastic buzz. It, there's a really good vibe on course, isn't it? Yes, I think, um, I think it's a great idea having racing on a Friday night because people don't have an awful lot to do. It's lovely. Well, you're going to enjoy it, Mrs. Liley. Your horses seem to be running well and I wish you the very best. Thank you, Tease. Well done to Mrs. Mary Liley, Lady of the Turf, number 12, Cadez, has come through to close off the jackpot. The numbers you'll need if you caught this quartet, 12, 11, 6, and 1. Coming up next, the lucky last, race number 8. The bet to get involved in, we always have a decent quartet pool to close off our meeting. That's no doubt the bet to play a percentage of, or maybe... If you are brave enough, take it a full time, 21.45, and uh, that will be a bit later than that. We got uh, five minutes added to that, so 21.50, 10 to 10 coming up next, race number eight.